good to be with you. We're continuing to explore ways to meditate on God, to get to know Him better. Why is it so important? Because as human beings, we have this really nasty tendency to turn on God when things don't go our way, often kind of like shaking our fist in His face and saying, what have you done for me lately, God? I know you've shown up in the past, but what about now? I need help now. And we feel like if He doesn't give us the answer we were desperately seeking, or if our situation doesn't improve, we start to get angry or fearful, and we begin to accuse Him of not caring for us. We can get a better handle on that very human tendency by learning how to meditate on God's ways, because God's ways are loving. Psalm 18.35 says, You protect me with salvation armor. You hold me up with a firm hand and then caress me with your gentle ways. I have to tell you that there have been a number of times when I haven't felt like God's hands on my life were gentle or tender, but really very heavy. I have felt like I was going to cave in with the weight of the burdens and the load that I was carrying, and I thought that I might not make it. So, of course, those are the moments that Satan jumps in with his suggestions to doubt God, to stop believing that God is good or loving, and to give up and just walk away from Him. Those are the moments in which knowing and believing in God's words are critical because that's when I go back to the Bible and read a verse like this, Psalm 117, 2. His love has taken over our lives. God's ways are eternal. Hallelujah. Or Psalm 145, 13 says, The Lord is faithful to all His promises and loving toward all He has made. You know, we've all had at least one moment in which we said, God, you couldn't be a loving God and allow this to happen to me or to someone I love. But His Word, which is reliable, says He is loving toward all He has made. I must choose to believe and trust that God's ways are loving whether I can see it or not. I hate to fly. I have to make myself do it because I refuse to give in to the fear, but I don't like to fly. And what I dislike most is those little plastic curtains and when it's pulled down and I can't see out, so sometimes I'll raise it up really fast and if I look out and all I see is gray mist, I start to panic inside. And I think, if I can't see what's out there, the pilot must not be able to see either, which means we're going down. And the same thing happens in my relationship with God. There are dark and scary times when I look at what is happening and I say, God, I can't see. And if I can't see, that must mean you can't see. I'm definitely going down. Faith in God often means flying blind, and I hate it. I hate the sense of a loss of control and when I feel powerless to do anything. When I'm afraid, I can't find joy. These are the moments to remember that on a cloudy day, the sun is shining just as brightly as it did yesterday. I just can't see it. And just because I can't see what's next in my life, or I can't explain why His hand seems heavy on my life, or the train track of sorrow just won't leave me or my family alone, none of that means that God isn't still in control. He is. And His ways are loving toward all He has made. And that includes me, and that includes you. So take a deep breath and let it out and spend some time today pondering our God's loving ways. He won't leave you or abandon you to face it all by yourself. He is with you, and His joy comes with Him. See you next time.